What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In in that What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Got a good one for you guys today. I got my man with the plan, green eggs and ham. My man, Michael Venom Page, is in the house. This dude has been crushing it. I mean, like exploding people's faces out the back of their heads, busting kneecaps, just crushing everybody. MVP, thanks for coming to hang out. Nah, thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime. Amazing. By the way, we are here in Miami, Florida at Boxer Gym. This place is sick, Beautiful. nasty. We got to give you guys a tour around this place. It's awesome. It's amazing. If you're around Miami, you got to check Boxer Gym. It is awesome. So, I got my man, MVP here. We are here for, uh, well, I'm here for UFC 287. Are you going to the fights? Oh, yes. Okay, you gotta check out the fights. Okay. So, why not pick this guy's brain? You know what I'm saying? So, I was watching some, by the way, huge fan. I love watching you fight. Not because you come from a karate background, but you're just pretty to watch, man. <laughs> Thank you. You are a cerebro fighter, and you got fighters out there that just uh, fight like rock'em, sock'em robots, you know what I mean? You're yeah. beautiful. And I don't like to watch fights, to be honest with you. I'm the same. I'm the same. I don't really watch I fight, much. but I don't like to watch a yeah. fight unless there's somebody like this guy fighting. <laughs> I'm checking it out. So I was watching one of your fights, and you hit, I've already done a, a, a tornado kick. Stand back. What do you call it? Spin round? round? Yeah, yeah, um, uh, 360 round. 360 round kick, roundhouse or whatever. And um, yeah, I, I did a technique Tuesday, but you do yours slightly different. I mean, you knocked this dude out with it. It was sick. The London shoot by screaming out in town. Oh! seriously, and there's a spinning kick. Oh, that is unbelievable. And so could you could you explain this to me? Yeah, 100%. Explain it. So firstly, as you say, a lot of people, just the spin kick alone is a powerful kick, but a little bit more predictable or more commonly used. So when people start the rotation, everybody gets defensive immediately. So they either backed up, or they either move away, or they cover, they cover up. So what I do is that turn represents that spin kick. But as I do the turn, I hold my knee chamber, just so when that knee goes past them, they feel like it's a failed kick. Like I've, I've misjudged the timing and I've neglected to, to, to let it throw out. So then what they ended up doing is pulling their guard back down to see what's going to happen next or to then try to counter me. Gotcha. As the knee goes up and I don't throw this one, I pull, pause, then throw the second one through. So there's a delay. There's a delay. So you might set it up like maybe like a spin kick or yep. anytime you spin it off, they're thinking something crazy. Exactly. So a normal would just be like, you know, Ooh. like this air. But yours has a, like a pause. Slight pause. Slight Show me, man. Slight Show me the pause. So I pull it up, boom, and then you come up off. Oh, so you kind of like, just like, well, you're like laid up in the air, yeah. like, <laughs> then you land the kick. Exactly. Okay. So that's just because you want them to think that you're throwing the spin kick. Mm -hmm. It was a failed kick. Yep. They drop their hands and either try to counter yep. or to find out what's going to be next. Exactly. And that's what you land the kick. And the best, obviously, I want to try and give them as little options as possible. So having them backed up against the fence is probably the best place to have them. Oh, so because you even back them up against the yeah, fence. Yeah. If, 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 if I can get them pushed out in the open, you can probably still land it, but the likeliness is they have the added option of going, taking a step back and then just not being there for anything unusual. So instead of just throwing boom, the spin hook kick, I gotta have the delay. Right? Yeah. And then I land the kick up, pull, boom, and throw it. So it's like a. Just off. There it is. Oh, right? I can see you landing. That's I can see you. I'm telling you, if I land this thing, <laughs> I'm saying it's all MVP, baby. Now, Okay, so we have that. I've always wondered too. You've hit probably more people, probably in any MMA promotion with, with jump knees. Yeah. And you're always landing this thing. You lose off the liver shot. It can come back. Like, what's your mindset? How are you setting that up too? Because, you know, people just throw knees. I see people throwing knees yeah. all the time. Yeah. But when you throw it, it's accurate and people don't expect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's intentional. It's usually based off something that they're doing, the forward action that they're doing. Something I like to create all the time, my coach likes to call it the car crash effect. I get you pulling forward and then that's when I decide to go in the opposite direction. I want to constantly create the car crash. You know what we call it? <laughs> Have you seen, seen the cartoon with the, the, uh, the cat and mouse? Uh, Tom, Tom and Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, yeah, we call it a Tom and Jerry. Because <laughs> he gets you coming down the hill and there's something there. Yeah, it's on the way to the hill. We call it Tom and Jerry. See how Paul the car crash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom and Jerry. I like it. So when you're out there, you're, you're trying to get them to come forward, right? Frustrating them, fainting them. So yeah, I need to have an understanding of the person that's in front of me. Everybody likes to respond differently. So for the first minute, minute and a half, depending on how quickly it takes for me to kind of figure somebody out, 
I call it attaching strings. Every time I fake, I might see you know, this on Twitch, I'm like, okay, that, that's to that. And I, I twitch this, I see something else happen. Okay. So I'm, I'm attaching strings where I do a lot of faking, a lot of moving, but nothing's happening. But there's a lot going on. It's intentional just for me to understand what your preference is for specific things. What are you waiting for? Okay, now I know how to bait and I know how to start pulling and playing with the strings that I've now attached. And the second I fake for something and you decide to pull forward, I go up. Instead of moving backwards in a way where it means your legs and your hands are, I'm still in that field of danger. Gotcha. If I jump up, the only thing that's in danger here is just my torso, but where I'm crunched because of the knee, it's all quite talk. So I don't mind getting hit there. And with the added chance of me landing my knee while you're going forward to create that car crash. Yeah, it's 100% right there. Yeah. So secondly, I, I, I already can anticipate because I'm giving you something, waiting for that response. I'm now going to go up, boom, and down. And I'm literally just going to jump up and end up in the opposite side. And in between that, I'm going to tuck my knee and then boom. There it is. Are you tucking both legs? I usually crunch my second leg as well. Okay. Again, just to keep my everything, everything nice and tight. Boom. There it is. So if you're causing a car crash effect by fainting, reading your partner, seeing what they're about and how they react. Yep. And I think a lot of times in doing that, it's very frustrating to people, oh, right? Yeah. If you faint right, if you yes. faint correctly, yes. you get guys who don't want, don't know when it's coming, so they get frustrated, so they start getting out of position when they throw their punches. Exactly. And that's when you land. They get desperate, and I feel like, uh, obviously, the, the more, my most famous knee is with Cyborg. I landed a couple of body shots, and I was, I was kind of like picking at him, picking at him, waiting for that, that, that action. He got desperate. He leans in to then throw an overhand, and that's when I caught him as he was leaning it forward. So it made it that much more, made it that much more, more, yeah. more effective. Right? This is why this guy is the top of the game, baby, <laughs> and why I love to watch this good MVP. Thank man, you, my brother. Thank you. Huge man. fan. Thanks, Thanks a million. You. I appreciate it, my man. man. Thank you guys for joining us in this Technique Tuesday. Hit that subscribe button. You know the deal. Throw some comments down below, and of course, you know, throw some likes my way. Catch you guys later. Peace. Thanks.